It's been an empowering experience. It's challenging, but worth the effort. It's given me self-belief. It's just, I can't really put it into words. It's made me feel good about myself. You see different people, you, you learn so many things. something I'd never, ever believed I could achieve. Life-changing. I'm a children's social worker. The first time I read a sociology book, I was like, oh my word. Life is just about other people's opinions. There isn't a set that and that makes that. It's about it could make that and it could make that. And that sort of rocked my world. My family life was problematic and therefore my focus wasn't on my schoolwork. I didn't have the emotional capacity to concentrate. Boys took over the concentration because they could offer me um, something more than what school was offering me. I didn't have very many friends at school and used to find myself at the butt of people's jokes. And I actually thought that I couldn't learn. Um, I actually thought I was sick. I was just turned 17 when I had my first child. So from that point on, education was on the back burner. I went on further to have three other children. And the jobs I had within that time were basically part-time jobs that fitted in with looking after the children. So I would work in a news agent, a tip shop, something manual sort of jobs that didn't need much brain power. I went on to college to do a counselling course and that just, um, that really was the pivotal point of my life because I started understanding why I behaved in the way I did. I had suffered bouts of depression. I had a tendency to run away from challenges and what I learnt to do was when that feeling came, I learnt to face those challenges. I've made a difference in my own life and I know I've made a difference in my children's lives, because each time I've learnt something new, I've parented differently. I started my career at the age of 40, you know, so by six years later, I'm in a job that I love. I earned a degree in applied social science. I went to school in Liberia. I came to the UK in 2000. Uh, I believe in traveling and you make friends, you see other parts of the world, you see how things look like and uh, you make judgment for yourself. I work for a security firm. I decided to further my education, enhance my learning. I used to take my laptop to work and uh, do site security on building construction sites where you just maybe log your gate and you could carry your paperwork or your laptop, do your assignment, do reading, mm. do analysis and whatever. I could go to work and study, get paid and uh, come to class. And I did it true and uh, I was very happy with it. Yeah, my family, I've got uh, four girls and uh, it's quite challenging and uh, it depends on the individual and the mind as to whether you want to do it or not. If you determine you can do it. I had my family and uh, I was doing typically full-time work and I went to college and I succeeded. I hope to use a degree for the benefit of myself because I have broadened my horizon. You don't just go to school maybe to maximize your financial capability. My degree has given me a broad knowledge of social life, great confidence, that I am an individual and a country university, I can think independently for my own survival. You know, after coming out of school with nothing and then ending up with a first class honours degree is just phenomenal.
I enjoyed school, but I had quite a problematic background. I lost my father, he was killed on my seventh birthday. And then my mother went on to marry somebody who, shall we say, was not very nice. I came out of school with one O level in English. I then went on to do hairdressing and carried on for the next 20 years. I have two children with special needs and I came across an awful lot of professionals. I ended up repeating my story over and over again to try and um, get services in place for them. I had parents queuing up in playgrounds saying, can you help me with this, that and the other? And I, um, I thought, well, I could probably do this as a job. And I decided, OK, I'm going to do it, I'm just going to go for it, and enrolled on a GMVQ health and social care course. I now work as a care practitioner with older people. I go out and assess their needs. I have to ensure that they're safe and their needs are being met. My ambition, which I never thought I would say, is to specialise in dementia care. Getting a degree has given me a lot of confidence. It's now meant that I'm able to go out and get a, a good job, have a good career, which in turn will give my own children a good start in life. I've wanted to study criminology for a very long time. I wanted to know why certain individuals in society would behave a certain way um, and not follow the rules and the laws laid down. And I wanted to just see, um, learn a bit more about society really and the world that I live in. School life um, was quite poor, I, I think. No qualifications at all. I was unemployed for between four and six years. I was signing on. I didn't think of going to college. Um, I just sort of stayed at home and messed about a bit. Later on in life, when I did get married and had a couple of children, I decided I'd go back and re-educate myself because I didn't want the same happening to them. And I started off with doing an English course and then I went on to do an administrative course. It's made me see the world as it is, um, my learning experience has made me more employable. Um, I find now that when I do fill out my CV, I tend to get an interview. It would be nice to use my criminology degree in the future, either to work with the probation office or the prison service or possibly the police force. But ultimately, I would like it to go out and teach citizenship. Further education gives you stability, understanding and knowledge. If you've got a goal, you go for that goal because everything is achievable. I'm working part-time at Lab Brooks and doing a Masters in uh, Educational Research Methods at Sheffield Hallam. I always thought I was an average student at school, but as I got further on through secondary school, I got better academically. I left with uh, about nine to ten GCSEs. I actually wanted to join police force. It's um, so the reason why I chose to do public services, but I went to police cadets and uh, I sort of, it sort of put me off it. I sort of developed more academic interests and things. I went to, uh, back to Doncaster College and did an A-level in psychology. And I'm interested in pursuing that. I uh, applied for a BA honours in applied social sciences because it's got psychology involved. That's what led me on to doing my degree. A master's is a sort of development and a refinement of what you did at, for, for BA honours. Um, it goes more in depth and, it, and it's a more narrow subject, so it's something approaching your interests. It's involved with research methods, so it's involved with like ways of interpreting the world. It's mainly giving me a critical element, not, not taking things for granted, just, just seeing things in different ways. I'm hoping to have a full-time career in research and attempt to uh, look at what's actually going on and attempt to change things. Yes, I work at the Youth Offending Service in Doncaster and we're like an early intervention and we deal with um, young offenders and we deal with children who are at um, risk of offending. I don't think I would have got that job if I weren't studying.
I didn't do very well in school. My future wasn't my priority. So I didn't leave very good qualifications. A few GCSEs. And then I got married. It weren't arranged because we knew each other, but our parents obviously agree, had to agree to it. We did uh, adhere to traditions and it took me a long time to find a job. And I did find a job with that McDonald's. Just at the till, serving at the tills and something in the kitchen. <laughs> then I had my children, then we bought a house. And then I wanted to go back to work again, which I did enjoy it for a short while, but I realised I want more than this. So I contacted the college. I found out they had an on-site nursery and they helped with financial costs. I thought, why not? Nothing's stopping me. I wanted to go into midwifery and nursing. I ran the college and told them about my situation, about my young children, not having much qualifications. They told me about this access course, which is equivalent to A-levels, and which will lead to, if you want to go into further education, higher education. I did like a placement in a nursing home, and I couldn't cope with it. It weren't me. I realised that nursing wasn't me. So I went back to my tutors and told them, and I said, I want to do something. I want to go to uni. I want to do a degree, but I'm not sure what. And they told me about applied social science. It's made me more confident and it's given me self-belief. It's a good role model for my children and to other young parents. Anyone thinking of going to further education, go for it. Don't let any barriers get in your way. There's always support out there. There's a way of doing it. Five years ago, I was at a till and where I am now is brilliant. Love it. Knowledge is power, and once you've got that knowledge, it can't be taken away from you. If you're prepared and you're willing to work and put the effort in, you will get rewarded. It may be traumatic, but it, can, it is a positive experience. It's a very interesting journey, and only one that can be positive for you. I could walk into an interview and sell myself and you know, speak highly of what I've done and what I've achieved. Fabulous.